What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. Welcome back to Election Watch 2024 with Leo the PO and Donald Trump has won the presidency, uh, which is a little crazy. Um, you know, uh, yeah, I don't know, it's, it's pretty crazy. Um, it's particularly crazy because, um, you know, back in 2016, uh, he didn't win the popular vote and he won the electoral college, which was a little crazy. Um, I just keep using the same adjective, I'm sorry guys. Um, but uh, it looks like he might actually be uh, going to, he might actually be winning the popular vote, which is uh, particularly crazy. Um, yeah, it's just really weird. Um, I don't know, of course, I voted for Harris, which just makes sense. I live in Seattle. Um, although I am happy uh, if, you know, if a lot of things were to be taken to the states uh, when it comes to like governance, um, at least I live in Washington. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. Um, but yeah, it just really sucks. Um, Trump seems to be a rather uh, a very sort of authoritarian figure. Um, it's very strange. Um, yeah. Uh, for breakfast, I had uh, some pizza, some leftover pizza. I almost accidentally started a fire in our toaster oven. Um, like an idiot, I just put the pizza in there without like put, putting foil on it. And some of the oil from the pizza dripped onto the heating element and it made like a like it made like a flame and that was really scary. Um, but you know, it totally ended up being fine. And I think the toaster is designed to prevent fires like that, so it ended up being okay, but um, yeah, that was a little spooky. Um, and yeah. Um what else? Um for lunch, I had some chicken wings that my mom made out of actual chicken. Like she bought chicken and then like cut it up and then like turned it into chicken wings and that was cool. Um, and then for dinner, we had some American tacos, like beef tacos, and that was pretty good. Something interesting I've been thinking about is I've never had, the reason why I've had hair like this for the past few days that just isn't styled and just sort of how my hair just is when I get out of the shower and I just have it dry. Like I don't style or brush my hair at all when I'm out of the shower recently. I actually do brush my hair immediately when I get out of the shower, but after that I don't really brush it because I have curly hair and you're not really supposed to brush curly hair. Um, uh, and so something interesting I've been thinking about is I've never had hair that looks like this um, while I've lost all my weight. And I'm actually, I'm actually at, at a pretty high weight right now. Um, one moment. Yeah, so right now I weigh 167.5, uh, but Earlier, I, uh, on November 3rd, I weighed 170.9, which is particularly strange, uh, considering in August I used to weigh um, 162.8 pounds. Look at that. And then I'm kind of going up right now. Um, but you know, that's okay. I mean, it's all really just a difference of like 10 pounds. And it, I, I just seem to be, like ever since I lost, ever since I went down from like 210, um, I've just sort of been fluctuating between 160 and 170. Um, and sometimes I even get down to the 150s, but you know, that's kind of rare and typically happens in like, um, like, like the spring. Um, but yeah, nothing else is happening. Um, yesterday I signed up for classes. I'm going to be doing my CompTIA Network Plus and my CompTIA Security Plus and uh, a project management course. I don't know if I mentioned that yesterday. Um, and yeah, I don't know if anything else is really going on. Um, since I am still sort of sick, um, I'm gonna try and go to bed pretty early tonight and plan to go to bed at around 7 p.m. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, it sucks that Donald Trump won the presidency. Um, it's weird that the last time that that happened, I was, I think, 10 or 11. Um, and that's particularly, uh, that's, that's weird. Um, and I don't know. I, I, I feel like a lot of, um, there we go, I can see myself better. I feel like, um, and this is just conjecture, but I, I hear a lot of people talking about like the young sort of, like the young male vote um, and how they kind of went pretty hard right in this election. Um, and I find that pretty interesting, um, but it kind of makes sense considering how, um, it, it kind of makes sense considering how uh, Trump's campaign has sort of uh, done a lot of its marketing. Like he went on Logan Paul's podcast which uh, is presumably a lot of young men. I uh, went on Theo Vaughn's podcast. Uh, he went on Lex Friedman, which is typically older men, but you know, he went on Lex Friedman, he went on Joe Rogan, which is also older men, but he really targeted like a very specific type of guy. Um, and that's interesting uh, because it kind of showed up in the, in the polls. 
Um, so, so it just makes me wonder, like, um, what am I thinking? Oh, I kind of forgot. I kind of forgot, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Never mind. Uh, but it, it's 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 interesting. Um, but yeah, uh, it sucks. I'm excited. Oh no! Wait. Okay, I remember. Uh, so it, it's interesting because I feel like a lot of this sort of new young voter base uh, is remembering a time nine years ago when like everything was like pretty good. Um, and I think it's just because they were young at the time. Um, like they were, uh, like a lot of them were like my age or even a little younger um, in around 2016. And a lot of great music was coming out in like 2016 through 2018 and like good video games were happening and like the vibes were kind of good. Uh, and I think that's just because you were young, right? And and you weren't really reading the news and you didn't remember how just crazy dysfunctional Trump's administration was and how he had the longest government shutdown in any in any uh, presidency in history and how um, he uh, did all that stuff at the border, which partly continued under Biden, but you know. Um, and uh, his first few weeks of his COVID response were like pretty bad, uh, where he just sort of said it wasn't happening. Um, and how he had like Jared Kushner as like the foreign affairs guy, just very strange, very strange stuff. Um, and, uh, you know, I don't really know what I'm talking about because I'm only, I, I was only 10 or 11 at the time. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's interesting because it's just a very sort of weird marketing quirk. I don't know. I'm just sort of saying things. I'm just sort of saying things. I'm not really too informed on it, um, but it just sucks. You know, I, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope everybody has a good day. Um, and yeah. Uh, oh, oh yeah. So, so I woke up at four, uh, five, like 5 a.m. this morning. I immediately checked the election results and I, you know, saw this. Um, but you know, then I got on the treadmill, um, I walked for six miles. Um, in the middle of it, I came up to ask my parents what they thought of the election because I wake up before my parents. Um, and we talked about that for a little bit and I finished exercising by about 8.20. Um, I shot better by around 8.50. I tried doing some schoolwork. Um, I finished a module for my programming class, but like, man, like, <laughs> you know, uh, I feel like day after presidential election is kind of, it's a little iffy, you know? Uh, it's just a lot to think about and it's like, it's like, oh god, like, is he really gonna have RFK doing all of those things? Like, like, things just sort of come up in your mind throughout the day and you're like, oh my god. Um, and so, uh, you know. Um, yeah, I'm gonna eat some dragon fruit and then go to bed. Bye.